indexed cost of acquisition is more than the sales value, then here the taxable value comes to nil. Based on fair market value, you are supposed to find out the indexed cost of acquisition of a particular property. The investment amount under section 54 is more than whatever the income is receiving by selling the asset. So that is why the taxable income will be nil. Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar, lecturer in the Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session on unit number 1 that is income from capital gain which is therefore fourth semester BCom students who are studying under University of Mysore. In today's session, we will be solving few problems based on the concept income from capital gain. So in the previous session, we have solved four problems with different scenarios. So in this session also, we will be solving few more problems with respect to income from capital gain. So problem number five, compute the amount of capital gains from the following details. House purchased in 1984-85 for rupees 5 lakhs and the fair market value on 2001-2002 the fair market value on 2001-2002 is rupees 15 lakhs and sold in the year 2021 sold in November 2021 for rupees 80 lakhs commission paid on sales is rupees 50,000 and cost of new house purchased is rupees 50 lakhs in January 2022 the CIA value for the year 2001-2002 is 100 2021-22 is 317. So the first point you have to understand because it is very much important. Here you can see two values that is the house purchased in the year 84-85 for rupees 5 lakhs and the fair market value on 2001-2002 is 15 lakhs. So here from income tax authority they are they had given the in cost of inflation index that given the cost of inflation index from the year 2001-2002. If any property, if any property purchased prior to 2001-2002, we are supposed to find out the fair market value as on 2001-2002. Okay. So based on fair market value, based on fair market value, you are supposed to find out the index to cost of acquisition of a particular property. So here also in this problem, the house is purchased in 84-85 but for us the CIA value that is cost of inflation index value is available from 2001-2002. So that is why we are supposed to find out the fair market value. Usually the fair market value will be given in the problem. You need not to find it out by using any formulas. So the fair market value is given. So for purchase value we will be considering the fair market value of 15 lakhs not rupees 5 lakhs because the cost of inflation index CII value is available from the year 2001 to 2001 to 2002 from there it is available. So the inflation cost of index is available from the year 2001. So that is why we are supposed to calculate the fair market value of any property which is purchased prior to 2001. So moving on to solve the problem, we are supposed to put three columns. So computation of income from capital gain. So sales value. Yes, what is the sales value? Sales value is 88 lakhs. The sales value is 88 lakhs less indexed cost of acquisition. So in indexed cost of acquisition, we are supposed to calculate the indexed cost based on fair market value because the cost of inflation index is available from the year 2001, right? So fair market value into CIA for the year of sale divided by CIA for the year of purchase. That is cost of inflation index for the year of sale divided by cost of inflation index for the year of purchase. So 15 lakhs, what is the fair market value? It is 15 lakhs. So 15 lakhs into 317 divided by 100. How much you will get? You will get 47 lakhs 55,000 you will get 47 lakh 55,000. 
So if you deduct this value from 88 lakhs, if you deduct from 88 lakh, you will get 32 lakh 45,000. How much you will get? 32 lakh 45,000. So less deduction under section 54, less deduction under section 54. So here you can see cost of new house purchased, cost of new house purchased is rupees 50 lakhs. So after selling the property, he purchased the new property to claim deduction under section 54. So what is the value of new property? It is rupees 50 lakhs. It is rupees 50 lakhs. So deduct 50 lakhs from 32 lakh 45 thousand, then taxable income will be nil. Need not to pay tax on income from capital gain because whatever the amount he invested to purchase new property, that value is more than whatever the income he received by selling the property. Okay, so that is why the value comes to nil. So here income is 32 lakh 45, but he is spending 50 lakhs to purchase new property. So he need not to pay tax to the government. The taxable value will comes to nil. So this is how we are supposed to solve. So moving on to the next problem, problem number six. Mr. Ajay sold some of his property during the year 2021-22 as under. Jewelry costing rupees 150,000 which was acquired in 2004 was sold for rupees 5 lakhs in May 2021. Next, second property, house at Kolkata lettered for residence. It was inherited by him in the year 1964. Next, second property, house at Kolkata lettered for his residence. It was inherited by him in the year 1964. Sale price on 31st 10, 2021 is rupees 30 lakhs. Fair market value on 1-4-2001 is rupees 8 lakh. Cost of improvement during the year 2004-2005 is 50,000. Next, self-cultivated land within the municipal limit was compulsorily acquired by government under a law for rupees 25 lakhs on 1st 1st 2022 and the fair market value as on 2001-2002 is rupees 10 lakhs. So compute is taxable capital gain by using CAA value for the year 2001-2002, 2004-2005, 2021-2022. So, so by using this information, we are supposed to calculate the income from capital gain of Mr. Ajay. So totally we have three assets. So computation of income from capital gain, particulars amount amount. First asset is jewelry. So the sales value of jewelry is how much? 5 lakhs. Less indexed cost of acquisition. So for what cost he acquired or he purchased? He purchased the jewelry for 1,50,000. So now we are supposed to find out the indexed cost of 1,50,000. So 1,50,000 into 317 divided by 113. You will get 4,20,796. So the balance 79,204. Next. Residential house, residential house, sales value rupees 30 lakhs, less indexed cost of improvement. So whatever the amount is spent, here you can see, is spent around rupees 50,000 for improvement of the property. So indexed cost of improvement, 50,000 into 317 divided by 113, you will get 1,40,265. Next, indexed cost of acquisition. Fair market value we are supposed to consider. So 8 lakh rupees into 317 divided by 100. How much you will get? You will get 25 lakh 36 thousand. So deduct these two values from 30 lakhs. How much you will get? The balance if you deduct these two values from 30 lakhs, you will get 3 lakh 23 thousand 735. So moving on, self-cultivated land. So sales value is rupees 25 lakhs. The government acquired by paying 25 lakh rupees. So sales value is 25 lakh. Less indexed cost of acquisition. So indexed cost of acquisition, we are supposed to take the fair market value here. So 10 lakh into 317 divided by 100. You will get 31 lakh 70,000. So indexed cost of acquisition is more than the sales value. Then here the taxable value comes to nil. 
indexed cost of acquisition is more than the sales value. So here the value comes to nil. So now total the outer column, total the outer column. See 79,204 plus 3,23,735 and here it is nil for asset 3. So total you will get 4,2,939. How much you will get? 4,2,939. So less deduction under section 54. So it didn't claim any deduction under section 54. So it is nil. So carry down the same amount 4,2,939. That value is called income from capital gain or taxable income from capital gain. I hope you people understood how to solve the problem. So moving on to the next problem, problem number 7. Mr. Pramod provides the following data regarding his transactions for the sale of his residential house for the assessment year 22-23. Compute the amount of capital gain. So house purchased in 84-85 for rupees 6 lakhs and fair market value as on 2001-2002 is 15 lakhs. Sold in November 2021 for rupees 80 lakhs. Purchased another house in September 2022 for rupees 35 lakhs and deposited in the capital gain account scheme rupees 10 lakhs. And the CAA value was given for the year 2001-2002 and 2021-2022. So let us move on to solve the problem. Computation of income from capital gain, particulars, amount, amount. So sales value. So what is the sales value here? The sales value is how much? Rupees 80 lakhs. So the sales value is rupees 80 lakhs. Less indexed cost of acquisition. So we are solving the indexed cost of acquisition based on fair market value. Because the house is purchased in 84-85, index value is not available. It is available from 2001-2002. So what we will do? We are supposed to calculate the fair market value and on based on that fair market value, we are supposed to calculate the indexed cost of acquisition. So the fair market value is 15 lakh into 317 divided by 100. How much we will get? 47 lakh 55,000. So deduct this 47 lakh 55,000 from 80 lakhs, you will get 32 lakhs 45,000. So 32,45,000 from that the deduction under section 54. So he purchased a new property that is new house for rupees 35 lakh and he also invested in capital account scheme of rupees 10 lakh. So deduct these two amounts from 32,45,000 the balance is nil because the investment amount under section 54 is more than whatever the income is receiving by selling the asset. So that is why the taxable income will be nil. So this is how we are supposed to solve the problems based on income from capital gain. I hope all of you understood the topic. For more videos, keep watching. Until then, thank you all.